My Gavan and Melanine, and well met indeed. I am Arakir Galadirthan, the head of the modding team behind Divide and Conquer for Medieval 2. But welcome back to a Heroes of Might and Magic 5 uh, as we continue on with the Haven campaign. We are on episode number two, Rebellion. Uh, as I was saying in an unrelated video, I have downloaded a mod um, called Heroes of Might and Magic 5.5. Which alters the gameplay fairly substantially, but equally I've also downloaded now a separate, it's not really a mod, it's only a single file, but and it's unlocked every single campaign. So there's no threat that we're going to get halfway through and suddenly realise it's bugged and we can't finish any campaigns. I downloaded a thing that just unlocks them all, so we are good to rock and roll. So this is episode two, or mission two rather, Rebellion. The backstory thus far, the... Griffin Empire, which is the Haven faction, have been invaded by demons from Sheoth, and our king, Nikolai, is off fighting them. And his almost bride, queen-to-be, Isabel, is rallying troops from the Heartlands to go out and support him. So, the rebellion. The path to the front lies through the ruined lands of the Griffin Empire, where rumour and superstition run rampant. The queen will have to strengthen her forces and persuade dissenters if she hopes to continue on her path. The town of Strombow is well named. The best archers live there, and I need archers for my army. Well, that was ridiculously short and sweet, Aww. wasn't it? Oh my god. <laughs> oh dear, her voice every single time she speaks grates on me so much. Really does. Twelve archers, yes please. Join the ranks. How many enemies have we got? Oh, none, or only the one. What's our army looking like? 50 peasants, 20 footmen, 29 archers. Now, something I am going to do, last time I was double checking it was turned on, um, and now I'm actually going to ensure that it's turned off, uh, and that is to turn off the cinematic camera. Because I actually really don't like it. I, th I find it very, very jarring. So the cinematic camera will go, and it will now just be this view for the entire time. Now, one person did ask that I speed up the combat, but I'm afraid that any faster than I already currently have it, I um, things happen way too quickly for me, and it takes me a, just as long to then process what's happened, I'm afraid. So, I will leave them as they are for now. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. There we are. Give them hell! There we go. Oh, we lost an archer. Oh, good attack, sir. And Isabel finishes the bloody skeletons off. Combat is ours. Oh, what should we take? Avenging Strike? Here is just a special combat ability to punish the target enemy creature with a powerful Avenging Strike. That creature is about to attack, retaliate, or cast any spell. That's not bad. Basic offense spell. Avenging Strike we can always get because it's a skill, not a... Um, it's an ability, not a skill. So. Part of the map is revealed. And there is the town that we are heading to claim. Strongbow. I'm not entirely sure what the options are, or the objectives are. <laughs> Capture Strongbow within the week, and Isabel has to survive. Now oh, let's get some more peasants. And head for Strongbow then. Almost there. Ah, oh, there we are, I was pressing the wrong button. I really don't like it when it's not central. Alright here. Now, towns that don't have any fortifications are fought as just standard battle maps, as you can see, so... I'm not too worried about them attacking us, to be honest. They're not going to do very much damage at all. He's going to kill all of them. She's only going to get five of those, though. And the archers help finish them. In we go, footman. Swift. Merciless. Death to our enemies. And welcome to the Haven Cities. We've yet to see one. This is your first glimpse. They, I think, look cool. Buy some peasant fields. And as you start building things, the town gets various things added. So, for example, these fields out here have just been added because we built the peasant fields. But this is the city for Haven. 
And it looks awesome. When it's fully upgraded, it looks amazing. All of these towns, all of these houses, sorry, do come within some form of wall eventually, so they do protect them. But the birds flying around the top, it was all, it always gets me. It's rather Warhammer esque, actually, and how grandiose it is. Oh, I didn't send her in, that was foolish. There we are. Alright, what's the objective now then? We've got Strongbow, we're gonna get these amazing archers. Assemble 100 archers. Oh, well, alright. We need ore. Oh, this is an ore mine we're about to take, isn't it? From the pixies. Bloody pixies. Pesky, pixie, peskonome. 6 to 13. Defend the archers! Ah, that was really poor think thinking. <laughs> they have an attack that attacks more than one square. <laughs> oh. Yes. How many did we lose? Not too many. Not too many. Give another end turn. That little red hammer means I can't actually build anything in that city. So we, there's no point nipping back to the castle at the moment because we can't do anything in it anyway. Ooh. The archers see things my way, but they say that Ashwood rejects the rule of the king. I have to settle this with the mayor. <laughs> the rule of the king. Let's see, can't build anything. I can't do anything there. I'll have to move out. Take down these zombies. Are they zombies? Yes, they are. Go for it. Archers are up next. Same one. Oh, we have an ammo cart. That means that our archers will never run out of ammo. Prayer. That only kills six, and they can get you after one turn, so we move back a bit. Oh wow, this doesn't do very much damage, do we? Uh, let's everybody focus on one. And then we should be alright. No, I mean, oh, you weren't within range. Oh. Maybe you were. Well, I mean, we win, but I just don't like taking losses. Should have run the archers away as well, actually, so zombies can reach them now. Yeah, they're gonna team up on our archers. Defend yourselves! Five. Just run away and hope for morale. Yes! Let's have that one. Let's have that one. You can finish those off. Peasants on the 22 as well. Who I just keep out of. Ah, yes, bash. That means they don't retaliate. It's a soldier's ability. Oh, we're really knocking them down now, aren't we? Some final luck. The zombies lie dead upon the floor. Avenging Strike, Master of Wrath. The hero learns a haste spell and is granted mass effects of righteous might and haste spells. It's possible to haste spell. Oh, go on. New objective: capture Ashwood. Let's go and get that sawmill. Who are we up against? Ah, oh, conscripts. Come on. I can do mass haste, which increases haste for everyone. Or we can haste a single unit. Now in Heroes 3, haste would also mean your unit could cover more ground in the run. And so mass haste was one of the best abilities going. Because it would mean that your entire army would often be able to reach the enemy on their first go. And it would increase their initiative. So not only would your units all act first, but they would also be able to move further. So you would often be able to win in the first turn of every unit straight off the bat. And it, used, it was so useful. <laughs> But now it doesn't increase the distance you can travel, it only increases your initiative, which is the number of times you move on the 
bar at the bottom there. Twenty-three. Are you only going to kill thirteen? Come on, you've got. We've got a hero. And again, everyone goes for the archers. No, oh, love them because they know that their fate is <laughs> already sealed. Should have joined us, you stupid conscripts. Stay true, stay loyal. Oh, what's that over there? More peasants and another archer tower. Want oh, some gems? I will take the gems. And we can finally build. Thank goodness for that. There we are. A tavern has been added. There it is. What other things are there roaming around? Let's see if those peasants will want to join us. Oh, something you can do in this game to train units is you can call them from outlying buildings you've already captured and they come in on caravans. As you see them moving there. <laughs> and it means that you don't have to move around the world map constantly going back to locations you've already been just to retrain your units. You can just go out and get them. They, they joined us, didn't they? Are you archers going to join us? Oh, come on. Can we do anything good? Mass haste. Everybody goes sooner. And some luck. Yes! Good shot, men. Morale boosts everywhere. Here we go. So many of the... Obviously the first campaign is a very tutorial-esque campaign and they do get substantially harder. And you do actually fight against other nations and the AI will get its own personality eventually. But at the beginning it's just introducing you to certain mechanics. So right now, of course, it's introducing you like a time by time to units of Haven. So last time it was peasants and footmen, and now we're getting more used. We're learning about archers, things like that. So it picks up. But I appreciate the first few missions are like teaching a grand suck eggs, which is an idiom that means that you are teaching someone something they already know. We really have got poor building options in this town. Awful options. Ten ore. We need ten ore. There we are. We've got ten ore. Take all of those. We can build an archer tower. That's as far as it goes. There are a couple of days away, but a couple of days takes virtually no time at all. So we'll just end turn twice. Now we have substantially more archers. Now that symbol means that you've built everything in that town. It can be increased no further. And away we go. Let's find this Ashwood. Convert its mayor to our cause. Seal its fate. I'm sure it'll be along the main road. They often are. So you discover more and more of this delightful little world. Oh, Marletto Tower. Gives you extra defense. A Leprechaun. He gives you random resources. Oh, he now gives you a thousand gold as a contract. That's all courtesy of the mod again. This is where footmen come from. That one increases your attack. <laughs> More peasants! Peasants are our arrow fodder. Sign them up! Right, 
continue along the road. What did we not get from there? Oh, another ore mine. Ah, oh, that's right. We've got enough to take the town, so we'll go and get it and then get the archers afterwards. Oh, how do I split you? I can't remember. I don't think I can do it at this stage. I mean, I might be able to, I just can't remember how. Mass haste again, please. Let's get everybody moving. Up on your feet. Now we're doing some damage. 334 peasants, good god. We need to split our army. I can give you a taste of um, a faster battle speed. I just find it very jarring, I really do. Everything happens so much quicker. Obviously, because it's faster. <laughs> Although actually I remember it being worse. Maybe the top tier I've not, I'm not too pleased with. Because this one's alright actually to be honest. Yeah, we'll keep it at that speed. Oh, martial arts, what does that do? Oh, wow. I'm not bothered about that. Basic luck, basic luck. There we are, those are all of our archers. Chain attack. Links the hero with a selected creature in his army. Every time this creature performs an attack, the hero will assault the same target. Ah, oh, that's cool. Right, how do we split these then? I'm sure it was holding control. Holding shift. There we are. That's a better split. Right, Ashwood should be just up here. Go on. Take down some Minotaurs. Minotaur! Put the archers either side of the footmen. Peasants threaded in amongst them. Can you do your chain attack? Yeah, link you to those archers. Now we're going to attack them. So is she now going to attack throughout the whole battle, I wonder? Oh wow, they move quick. <laughs> Good god. Block them in. Good show, old chap. And then she should finish them off. Yes! Minotaurs go down crying. And the peasants finish the other one off. Excellent. And we get a shield of crystal ice. For our trouble. At least this one hasn't been uh, relatively short with most of the episode being a cutscene. <laughs> but, uh, yes. It's difficult to. Um, I can appreciate the first ones may not draw that many people in because of the tutorial-esque nature. But equally then, if people are turned off at the beginning, they don't stay through to the end, so it can be an interesting one. Although well, we've got quite a nice amount of footmen now. Loads of peasants. Let's just reassess our peasant makeup. It's about 120 in each. There we are. Yeah, that's good. Here we are, Ashwood to do this. They've got a natural wall, so they will have defences. There you go. But they've given us griffins. Now, archers are not very effective when you are shooting them over a wall. So. They're not going to be as useful to us. Can you battle dive yet? No, you're not uh, high enough level. It's mass haste. Oh, we need those to be killed. We need those to be killed. So they're just going to target our archers. Oh, you do an awful lot of damage. 26 kills, 19 griffins, wow. We've got more peasants, more footmen, and more archers than them, so we will win. And I'm fairly certain that this is all this episode, um, all this mission asks of you. 
go and um, stop those archers. Our own archers once again. Ten, excellent. Not so good with five, but I'll take it. Can you still not get in yet? Not the gap. <clears throat> on we go. Ah, oh, the griffins are down. The footmen are moving in on us. Support the footmen. Archers! How do I know when these are the enemy archers? Oh, hold on, it's because I'm not selecting an archer. Uh, idiot. There we are. Keep killing them. Trebuchet's bringing down the wall. Who's next? More peasants. More peasants. Footmen curl around. And then she's going to attack as well. Yes. These traitorous, disloyal scum. Prayer boosts everyone's attack and defense, I believe. And it costs no mana. It's a very useful one to use. You're still going for the archers. Why are you still going for the archers? Even now. Oh, come on. You should have finished those off. I mean, nothing to do with it. Six. I can't go any further around to the north, unfortunately. So it doesn't give you a very good... Slight range. Ah, oh, yes, he's done the bash. And she supports him. Oh, I like that ability. That's good. And 27 left, and they're all dead. Finish this, Master Archers. Finish this. Victory. Soldier's luck. Hordes and hordes of archers. And there's a squire. That should be enough. It's time to get these troops to Nikolai. We shall hurry as if Crag Hack himself were on our heels. <laughs> Isabel is now a level 10 knight. Battle frenzy. Minimum and maximum damage inflicted by each creature. Ah, yes. Mission complete. Yes! Lord Gallo is my name. How sad is that? <laughs> now, it hasn't automatically moved on to the next mission because... Um, oh, no, it has. I've lied. <laughs> I have lied. Mission three will be the next episode. As I say, I will do each mission as a single episode because as we go further and further in, they will start to be longer and longer and then some missions may even take a couple of episodes. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I enjoy playing it. I hope you enjoy watching it. If you have any questions, do pop them in the comments down below and I'll get around to answering them as soon as I can. Um, but otherwise, let me know what you think. And until we speak again, dear friends, Navarna den Peramad Melonin, and farewell.